Let's get back to it. Fish biologists recently discovered a large area covered with dead fish along the section of the Clark Fork River near the west part of Butte and Anaconda. Yeah, MTN's John Amy tells us what experts believe caused the fish kill. A large fish kill recently discovered on the Clark Fork River west of Anaconda shows old mining contamination along the banks is still getting into the water. Because the tailings are there and we have major rainstorms, they will wash into the water until everything is completely restored from top to bottom. Heavy metals from the mining operations in Butte over a century ago have settled into the floodplain area along the Clark Fork River, and recent heavy rains pushed the contamination into the river between Warm Springs and Galen. And these storms that we've had that are, as my grandmother would call them, gully washers, are, they're, hard, they're hard to manage and storm water is always going to be an issue for us. The Clark Fork Basin is in the process of a multi-million dollar cleanup between Butte and Missoula. The area along the river where the fish kill happened is still awaiting restoration. The thing about this recent fish kill is it is fairly short-lived in that it happened quick. Uh, some of the fish were killed and then it looks like it's discharged out and then when the biologists went back later, the, the fish were surviving in that area. The cleanup along the Clark Fork River Basin is being done in sections, sort of a patchwork project, if you will. And until the full remediation project is complete, there could be more fish kills. You know, until the tailings are removed from the entire uh, floodplain of the Clark Fork, we probably will have additional fish kills unless um, we go and do some Band-Aid approaches while we're cleaning up. In Galen, John Amy, MTN News. John tells us biologists say the fish population right now in the Clark Fork River about 20% of what it should be.